How's it going guys? My name is Michael and today I'm going to show you how you can get unlimited rare candies in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now there are two steps that you need to do in order to farm rare candies in Pokemon Sword and Shield. The first step is you need to learn how to reset the days in Pokemon Sword and Shield, preferably without having to go to the wild area and go to a den and doing the whole invite others, going in and resetting your days, blah, blah, blah. You want to be able to do it where you're standing by the rare candy spawn. And there are two ways that you can do it. As of uh, the time I'm recording this video, one of the methods does not work because ranked battle season or the ranked battle season has ended in Pokemon on sword and shield and so there's no way to do it through that uh, but shout out to the youtuber named Blaine's he found out another method now I messed around with the method that he described in his video and there were a few things that I had issues with and I couldn't quite get it to work on my end I don't know if it's because I have my system docked and in Wi-Fi mode he has his docked and in wired mode um, and handheld mode is going to be about the same as what I'm going to be doing because if you're doing it via just Wi-Fi and you're not in a wired mode, you need to do it with the method that I'm going to show you. So to do the new day resetting glitch in Pokemon Sword and Shield, all you have to do is go to your menu, go to the versus tab, wait for it to do this little internet gathering thing, go to battle stadium, go to casual battles. The method that everybody's been using before was the ranked battles, but ranked battles are uh, disconnected right now. You can't do them. It's in the off season. So now you want to go to casual battles and there's a, a few uh, separate steps that you need to do in order for this to work. Just go ahead and go to single battle or double battle. It doesn't really matter there. And then wait for uh, the game to find you an opponent, pick your party, all that kind of good stuff. And then I will meet you once I find an opponent. Okay. So now I found my opponent. Now you just want to pick your Pokemon. It doesn't really matter. Uh, what you're using just pick your first three or whatever um, you're gonna have to quit out of this battle anyways so wait for him to pick his side and then once it loads in you're gonna want to do something uh, quickly <laughs> okay so now that you're loading into the battle the next step is as soon as these league cards show up you want to go ahead and go to your home screen Go to your system settings and, and as you can see if you're in docked mode you won't be able to go into the airplane mode thing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to disconnect my switch from the dock hit airplane mode turn it on put it back in the dock and as you can see the game play cut off on the screen and i'm waiting for it, it says one month please okay so now i want to back out i had to reconnect my controller Go back into the game and as it see as you can see it says a communication error has occurred do not hit close or details pick up or actually you don't have to pick it up just go back to your home screen go back to system settings go back to airplane mode turn it off and then go back into your game and then it's it, as you can see it's now continuing the battle now all you want to do is back out of the battle sometimes it'll back it out for you and sometimes you have to physically go in and back it out so now that you've done that just press B and now the glitch should be in effect okay so now all you have to do is I'm gonna show you that it's working I want to go up to it I got a four-star Magikarp in here as you can see I cannot collect Watts so I'm gonna try it I'm gonna go to system settings go all the way down to system date and time go up one day hit OK back out whoops go back over and boom you see that flicker uh, I've shown it in past few videos as you can see it flashes and when it flashes you can see it resets the day instantly um, You can see there's a glow on the den now I can collect my watts and as you can see it's a different Pokemon Now once you figure out how to reset the days in Pokemon Sword and Shield the next step is learning how to farm the rare candies in the game Now there are two different locations in which you can do this the first location is over by the professor's house uh, On route 2 the second location is here in the middle of Lake Axwell just uh, inside the wild area so for some reason the first location did not work for me i could not get it to spawn at all no matter what i did um here in lake axwell in the wild area i was able to get it to respawn pretty consistently just keep in mind it's a little tricky sometimes you might have to play around with it uh, but the results are fantastic so as you can see this is where the rare candy spawns in the center of lake axwell all you have to do is just ride your bike all the way over here and you'll find it in the middle of these three rocks so i'm going to go ahead and pick it up you see I uh, found a rare candy also another cool thing about this is is there's a couple of pearls that always spawn right here um, so once you pick up those items you want to whoops not hit your home button you want to go to your town map and, we, and you want to fly to this location over here East Lake Axwell 
do not reset the day here in the middle of the lake. It's not going to work. You want to go to East Lake Axwell, and then once you load in, you want to go to your system settings, go all the way down to system, date and time, move it up one day, hit OK, back out, go back in, into your game, and as you can see, the day reset. So now we're going to ride our bike all the way over there, and as you can see, you can kind of pick up a few items along the way which is pretty nice i mean you can farm a ton of money and rare candies at the same time um at this location at least so i got a wishing piece and a rare uh old pearl and as you can see the rare candy spawned in again so all i have to do is once you pick it up i keep hitting the home button pick it up go to your town map do this all over again and sometimes it's not going to respawn i'm not entirely sure why um so if it doesn't respawn just go back and do the uh, whole thing again. Just fly back over to this East Lake Axwell uh, spawn point, reset the day, go back into your game, and go back over to that location. But that's how you get unlimited rare candies and Pokemon Sword and Shield. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. But guys, I'm going to peace out for now. Have a great day, great night, wherever you are. And until next time, peace out.